Oh, Hannah. Welcome everyone. This is our Go People team call and we are so delighted to have you all with us tonight. And very, very excited to be able to have such an honored guest tonight with Dr. Aaron Barrett. And, you know, Dr. Aaron is an expert in nutrition and metabolic uh, biochemistry associated diseases, including diabetes and obesity. And at Shackley, she's responsible for translating science into innovation, into that pipeline. She is on about every step of the, from the first concept all the way through production. She's a part of all of that. And she's been an integral part in the development of neology, which has been, of course, a great, exciting thing to have that wonderful health assessment. And if you haven't heard about that and you want a person invited you, let them know so they can make sure you get the chance to take that assessment. She's also been worked on the development of turmeric and all of our immune products, the, more current ones, Collagen 9 and others as well. And when you see her, you'll see she looks like she's 12, but she actually has a PhD in nutritional biochemistry from UNC, an MS in clinical research from Indiana University and her MS in biochemistry and molecular biology from Georgetown. Talk about some prestige, right? So we are really thrilled to have her tonight. And as I was telling her before you all joined us, that she has a real gift because she can make it simple enough that we can all understand it, yet informative enough and technical enough just to give us the things that we need to be able to answer other people's uh, questions. And at the same time, she's just very engaging, as you'll see. You no know, ivory tower here whatsoever. So. Thank you so much for being with us, Dr. Aaron. And I'm gonna turn it over to you for right now. And will you all please wait for your questions till the end and we will honor those questions. We really are very eager to have you be able to have the questions answered. So please just write them down as you go along if there's something you want to know. So Dr. Aaron. Okay, thank you for having me. I'm really honored to be with you all today. And I will um, say that my two young kiddos keep me young looking. Yeah. <laughs> okay, I'm going to share my screen with you guys. Okay, can you guys see it? Yes. Yeah. Yes, okay. So um, the name in and of itself is, is pretty unique and hopefully it communicates to you all what the point of difference is with our product. Of course, you know, with every product that we develop, we always try to have a Shackley difference. And with our collagen product, what we did was we created a product that contains all nine essential amino acids. And that's why we call it collagen nine. And I'll get to um, it in just a minute why you need all nine essential amino acids in this product and why that makes it unique from other collagen products on the market. Okay, where are we? Right here. Okay, so um, you guys did get a, a nice little sneak preview into our new designs for our beautiful creative team has put together this incredible new label. I hope you guys like it. Um, but this is, with this product, we have developed the most complete collagen product on the market. Okay, so when people take collagen, what, why are they taking collagen? And they take collagen because they want to be able to build collagen, right? So we, as our, you know, we actually had this ability to synthesize or make collagen naturally in our bodies. And what we do is we take amino acids, which are the building blocks of collagen and put them together in order to make collagen, okay? So you have collagen, it's made up of these individual amino acids. You string these amino acids together in order to make collagen. And you also require a couple other things like some vitamins and some minerals in order to do this. So unfortunately, as we get older, our ability to make collagen, it starts to decline, right? So that may be a consequence of our ability to absorb some of these nutrients that are required to make collagen is reduced. So we may not absorb minerals. We may not absorb vitamins. We may not be able to absorb things that we need in order to synthesize collagen as readily as we get older. On the other side, we may not be able to synthesize those things as well. So we may not be able to take all those parts and pieces once we 
you know, get them from our diet or we ingest them, we may not be able to put all of those things together in, able to, in order to be able to make collagen as efficiently. So hopefully that makes sense. So as we're getting older, we may not be able to absorb the things we need to synthesize collagen as well. And we may not be able to put them together as well in order to support the synthesis of collagen. So as a consequence, so we're not able to build collagen as well. We start experiencing some of those side effects of collagen. So you might start experiencing like saggy skin and brittle nails. Your hair may not look as good. You might start experiencing some joint pain. And the reason for that is collagen basically anchors our cells together. So the cells in our skin, the cells in our joints, um, you know, basically the cells all throughout our connective tissue, the collagen is holding those, to, those together. So as we get older and have a harder time synthesizing collagen, we start experiencing those side effects of not being able to produce or synthesize collagen as well. So that's why people start taking collagen products. So they think, hey, you know, my body's not doing as good of a job making collagen. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna take collagen. I'm going to take these collagen containing products so that my body can start using them in order to synthesize collagen so that those effects that I'm experiencing, you know, the wrinkles, the sagging skin, the lackluster hair, the brittle nails, the aching joints, so that I can give my body the things it needs in order to support the synthesis of collagen and then not experiencing those effects, right? Okay, so the limitation is that in order to synthesize any protein, you need all of the essential amino acids. So essential amino acids are basically the amino acids that your body cannot make naturally, but you have to get from your diet. So all nine essential amino acids, you require all of them in order to synthesize protein, including collagen. So if you look at some of the other, or really all of the other collagen products on the market, they only contain eight of the nine essential amino acids. And the reason for that is because collagen itself actually only contains eight of the nine essential amino acids. But as I mentioned, you need or you require all nine of them in order to synthesize protein and synthesize collagen. So basically what we did with this product is we took 10 grams of, of collagen, which contain those eight essential amino acids, and then combined it with one gram of pea protein that contains that missing essential amino acid. So by combining the 10 grams of collagen plus the one gram of pea protein, we're giving you all nine essential amino acids that are required to synthesize protein and synthesize collagen. So in effect, we're giving you those building blocks that are needing to support the synthesis of collagen. And then we also paired that with vitamin C. And one, we know vitamin C is an antioxidant, right? And we know that as we get older, we have all of these effects associated with oxidative stress. So by giving you the vitamin C, we're giving you this antioxidant that can help with those, you know, that oxidative stress that you experience as you get older. But then vitamin C, it's also acts as a cofactor for some of the enzymes that are needed to support collagen synthesis. So we're giving you something that's needed to synthesize collagen. So it, it, that, I'm saying the same thing over and over, but we're giving you all of those building blocks, all of those things that your body needs in order to support the synthesis of collagen, which is again, why people are taking collagen. And then we also included in this product, a uh, biotin. And there's a lot of research that shows that when people don't get enough biotin, this results in a lot of those things that we've talked about, like the lackluster hair, the brittle nails, the you know saggy skin. So the biotin has been shown consistently to support healthy hair, skin, and nails. Okay, so hopefully that was clear. Um, just really quickly to go into why we loved it. I've hit on a lot of these things, but I think it's always helpful to go through again them again. So collagen itself, the collagen nine itself contains. 10 grams of collagen. So it's a bovine based collagen. And I can touch really quickly now on why we did choose to go with bovine based collagen as opposed to marine based collagen or plant based collagen. So, um, first of all, bovine versus marine. Um, bovine is more palatable. 
And of course, we want people to enjoy the product and we want them to continue taking it so they can continue to experience benefits of it. So that's one of the reasons why we chose bovine versus marine because bovine, it, it just tastes better. It is more palatable. Also, bovine-based collagen contains um, type one and type three collagens. So these are the collagen types that are most frequently found in those connective tissues. So those connective tissue, like, you know, your, your joints and your, your skin, those um, things that we're saying that you often experience negative. <laughs> um, I don't want to give them negative things, but you know, as you're getting older you're getting saggy skin and your brittle nails and your lackluster hair. So those type one and type three collagens are very commonly found in those connective tissues. Um, also the plant-based versus the bovine-based. So collagen itself is derived from animals, right? So collagen is not found in plants. So if we were to launch a plant-based collagen, it would have to come from a genetically modified organism like a yeast. Now these plant-based collagens are on the market, um, but there just isn't as much research to indicate that these plant-based collagens are as beneficial as bovine and marine-based collagens. And of course they are very expensive because they're coming from a genetically modified organism as opposed to naturally from, uh, you know, from a bovine source or from a marine, marine source. So again, um, the reason we chose bovine is it's more palatable. It has both type one and type three collagens. Um, if we were to go with a plant-based, it would have to be from a genetically modified organism like yeast. So bovine-based, of course, it's the naturally occurring collagen. Um, and there is research to indicate that the bovine-based and marine-based have benefits, whereas the, the plant-based collagens are newer and there's not as much research to indicate that those are beneficial. Okay, um, as I mentioned, it contains all nine essential amino acids. So this is our Shackley difference. If you look at other collagen products on the market, they contain only eight of the nine essential amino acids and all nine essential amino acids are required in order to support collagen synthesis. So again, we combine the collagen with the pea protein to make sure that we were delivering all of those nine essential amino acids to support the synthesis of collagen. I mentioned the 100% DV or daily value of biotin because we know biotin does support healthy hair, skin, and nails. 100% of the daily value of vitamin C, not only for its antioxidant benefits to you know, help scavenge those free radicals, but then also because it is required by enzymes that help support collagen synthesis. And then it is hydrolyzed. So um, I can touch quickly here on the, the benefit of hydrolyzed collagen and um, some questions we have received related to the type of collagen. So a powder versus a liquid or even a pill form. So um, collagen is, it's a pretty large protein, right? So collagen is strings, strings of amino acids linked together. And then there are a couple of different um, proteins that are bound together to make collagen. So it's a really big molecule. And when you consume collagen, you have to break it down, right? So you have to break it down into these small, either peptides, which are just small fragments of amino acids or individual amino acids in order to be able to absorb it. So what we did was we developed a product that contains hydrolyzed collagen. So this is going to be collagen that's broken down into those shorter chains of amino acids called peptides and also individual amino acids. So that's gonna help with digesting it, absorbing it. And then what's really important when you use hydrolyzed collagen is that it mixes much more readily with anything that you're adding it to. So if you're adding like a big blob of protein, if you don't use hydrolyzed collagen, it's just not gonna mix very well. It's gonna kind of sit in that liquid or you know the food that you add it to. When it's hydrolyzed, it's going to mix much more readily. So some of the questions we've been getting is, you know, why, why did we choose a powder versus a liquid collagen? And, you know, while, while there is some evidence to indicate that when it is hydrolyzed, it's going to be digested and absorbed more quickly, more readily, ultimately, regardless of the form that it's delivered in, it's going to be absorbed to the same extent. So a lot of those liquid-based collagens, they claim that their collagen is gonna be absorbed more readily. If that is true, which I actually haven't seen any evidence to indicate that, 
If that is true, ultimately the powder form is going to be absorbed to the same degree. It might take just a little bit longer. And we think about the benefits of collagen, you know, supporting healthy hair, supporting healthy nails, supporting joint health. You know, unfortunately, these aren't benefits that we're going to realize overnight. It's not like you're going to drink this and all of a sudden it's like caffeine and you're like, oh my gosh, you know, my joints feel great or wow, my hair grew an inch. You know, so these are benefits that we, we experience over time. You know, it's going to be a couple of weeks before we experience these benefits. So ultimately the timing of absorption is, is moot when it comes to a product like collagen. It's not like caffeine where, you know, you want to feel those benefits really, really quickly. Because collagen benefits are realized over time, the, 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 um, the timing of absorption is really moot with, with a product like this. Okay, um, just a couple other things. As I mentioned, um, it mixes really easily into your favorite drink or food, you know, and that's really due to it being hydrolyzed because it is broken into those smaller fragments, those smaller peptides. It's going to um, really mix much more, more easily than if we didn't use a hydrolyzed collagen. Um, just in terms of what types of foods, beverages, I recommend it be added to. I think anything that you really want added creaminess, you know, like um, your Life Shake, that's a great, you know, great to add it to Life Shake. That's already a creamy product, a little bit of added creaminess, coffee. Um, you know, a lot of people have tried it with avocado, you know, doing like an avocado toast. So anything you want, just a little bit of added creaminess, this collagen really works well with. Um, it is, you know, non-GMO, of course. Had we gone with a plant-based, it would have had to be derived from a genetically modified organism. You know, I'm, I'm not saying that's off the table. There, there are a lot of people that would, that would love a plant-based collagen. And it is something we've talked about. But again, we decided to go out with the bovine base for all the reasons I, I spoke to. But you know, the, the bovine source that we did, that we are sourcing from, it's grass-fed, it's pasture-raised. So you know, we were really thoughtful with, with the source that we chose. Um, also, it's gluten-free, dairy-free. Um, as always, no artificial flavors, sweeteners, preservatives. And then this is the label. Um, so here, you know, we're really trying to highlight all of, you know, the, the, again, that we're providing those building blocks to help support the synthesis of collagen, because this is why people are taking a collagen product. They want to take collagen so that they can make collagen. And in order to make collagen, you need all of those building blocks. You need the nine essential amino acids that we're providing, the vitamin C, which is the cofactor for the enzymes that are required to synthesize collagen. And then we added the biotin, you know, for the, the supporting healthy hair, hair, skin and nails. And then the hydrolyzed collagen I spoke to just, you know, for, for the ease of, of mixing. Um, 10 grams of collagen, 20 servings. We have gotten a lot of questions about the serving size. Uh, you know, the reason we went with 20, this, this isn't necessarily intended to be a daily use product, you know, it's not like a daily multivitamin, um, you know, our, our, our food-based products, life shakes aren't 30 day supplies. And that's why we initially decided to, to launch this as a, as a 20 serving product, but we would absolutely appreciate your feedback as always on, you know, if you would prefer that this be, you know, 30 servings, um, you know, you know, being, being in the innovation, innovation group, we, we want to not only create products that, that have that Shackley difference that are supported by science, but that also work for you all. Um, so, so we always want to be able to iterate and you know, receive the feedback from you so that we can make these not only you know, products that are, are based in science, but the products that work for you all. Um, I think I hit on everything I wanted to speak to. You know, there, were, there were some questions about joint health and the reason why, why collagen you know, ha, has been shown to have value for joint health. And again, you know, it's just because collagen is really help holding those cells together. It's anchoring, anchoring cells together. And we see a lot of collagen in our joints. And um, you know, as we're getting older and we're not able to synthesize collagen at the rate that we're breaking it down, providing all of those building blocks to, to support health, uh, help the synthesis of collagen. Um, and and support our support our joints is sorry these things are popping up um, is, is is why we're seeing benefits uh, for for joint health in people that are using collagen. 
Okay, I can stop sharing. And if there's anything that you guys have specific questions about, I'd be I'd be happy to answer them. Well, Dr. Barrett. Yes. This is Alan. I've got a question, Alan? please. Sure. You mentioned that it has type one and type two call type ten type, type one and type, type three. three. Mm -hmm. What about how many other types are there? And why don't we have them all if they're five, six, seven, eight, or whatever? Yeah. So um Gosh, I, I don't know the exact amount of types. I mean, there's, I want to say dozens of collagen types. Um, and it, it's really dependent on where you're sourcing it from, right? And ultimately, the, the collagen types that are most abundant in our connective tissue, which is where we're, we're trying to provide benefits for, right? We're trying to provide... Um, those building blocks to support the synthesis of collagen that is readily, you know, very abundant in our connective tissue. So our connective tissue is really rich in the type one and, and type three collagens. Um, so it, it, it's, you know, a consequence of where you're sourcing it from, but then also we want to provide those building blocks that um, allow you to synthesize the collagen that, <laughs> that you, that you need, that you need. Um, the other important point is ultimately when you, I don't want to contradict myself, but ultimately when you break it down, the collagen types are kind of moot because we give you the, the building blocks, right? In order to synthesize the collagen. And when you give you the building blocks, you can synthesize any collagen type. So you could synthesize one, three, five, two, seven, 20, 27, you know, but ultimately we just want to give you, we want to give you the starting materials in order to synthesize the collagen that is most abundant in those connective tissue. But by providing you with the building blocks, they can ultimately be used to synthesize any collagen, any protein, any collagen type. Does that make sense? Yep, thank you. We wanna enrich you with those things that are most abundant in the connective tissues, which means you know certain amino acids, certain collagen types. Perfect. Okay. Can I look at the chat or do you want to? Well, let's first have anybody who wants to just come on and ask the question can do that. And I'll try and look at the chat and see what questions we have from there. How would that be? So all you have to do is unmute yourself to ask your question. Okay. But this is Connie. Um, the, oh, you did fabulous job. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And you are, you look like a kid yourself. <clears throat> but anyways, um, <laughs> this, the collagen, I don't know if I heard you right or not. Is this a this is a product that we take every day? Am I correct, or is it something you can jump around with, or yeah. what do you recommend? It's, it's your personal choice. It's just not you know um, there. It's not a nutrient that it's not a required nutrient. It's not an essential nutrient. It's a booster, right? So it's not an essential vitamin. It's not an essential mineral. It's not something you absolutely need every day. It's not. Um, something that's required to build that foundational health that, you know, Dr. Jamie and I often speak about, you know, building that foundational health. This is intended to be a booster. If you want it, to, if you want to take it every day, you absolutely can, but it's not something you have to take every day. Does that okay, so I, I guess if we have a, something we're trying to address as far as the symptoms that how, do, I mean, you take them till the symptoms are gone or um, that's if it's working for you, I would take it regularly. Um, okay. just like, just like anything, um, you know, we talk about this a lot with neology. It's like, oh, you know, I'm sleeping great, but I'm probably sleeping great because I'm on a Shackley product that's helping me sleep. So you need to think about the benefits that the product is providing for you. And if you had issues prior to taking the product and then you start taking the product and those you know, those side effects, whatever it is you're dealing with are minim minimized, then it's probably because of the collagen nine. So I would continue, I would keep that in your daily routine. Um, my point was just that it's not, it's not foundational to your health and wellness. You know, it's more of a targeted need product. If, if there's, you know, if you're having joint health issues and you add this to your daily routine and you see a benefit, I would continue to use it daily. Um, but I don't think this is necessarily something that everyone absolutely needs for, you know, their foundational health. It's, it's much more of a booster. 
and we talk about it like, you know, Life Shake is your, um, you know, helpful for that foundational health by providing the protein and the essential vitamins and minerals. And you can add the collagen to it as a booster to help provide all of those uh, building blocks to support health, to support collagen synthesis. Great. Thank you. Welcome. Would it be accurate Good. to say that um, it could be individual and people just have to figure out how, how often they need to take it in order to feel the benefits? Absolutely. Yep. Thank you. Thank you. Um, while anybody else is breaking in, just a few of the questions that I saw on chat. One is, how long does it take to expect results? And I know you talked to me about that before the actual yeah. call began. So if you don't mind reiterating that. Um, you know, of course, caveat, every, every individual is different and every individual is going to experience benefits on their own timeline. And it's, you know, really dependent on, um, you know, one, your foundational health, and then two, you know, just the rate of your rate of collagen synthesis. So um, that being said, we did an internal trial and, you know, based on the research that I've reviewed, it seems like most people begin to experience benefits between three and four weeks. Which is great. It's pretty yeah. quick. Yes. It's pretty quick. It's pretty quick. Great. Um, also, somebody else asked, what age can you start taking the collagen nine? Um, so it is intended for adults. So people 18 and over. Um, if you have someone under 18 who would like to take it, I would just encourage you, I'm channeling my Dr. Jamie, to, to talk to their healthcare provider. You know, there's no safety concerns whatsoever with collagen, but I would just encourage you to, to talk to their healthcare provider before introducing that into their, into their routine. And similarly with anyone who's, you know, pregnant, trying to get pregnant, breastfeeding, no safety concerns, but I would just connect with, with their healthcare provider before introducing that into their routine. But somebody brought up an interesting point that she'd like to see the same number of saved servings as in life shakes because she adds it to her life shake every time and since that's the 28 serving. So that was one of the comments. And then also somebody asked, uh, and I, I think it was a Michelle Lee. Michelle, do you wanna explain? Cause I wasn't clear what you meant. What happens to the ninth amino acid? Oh. Collagen only takes eight. <laughs> yeah, I was just wondering. I mean, because collagen only has eight and yeah. you're saying that all nine are needed to create a protein and collagen is a protein. Is it just part of the yeah. chemistry? And it yeah, it's just like, <laughs> and it's, I get it. It's, it's complicated. And, and our R&D team has done a, a lot of reading on this, but it's just the machinery that's required in order to, just to make proteins in general. So it's not necessarily that um, all of those amino acids are ultimately gonna go to the final finished protein. It's just that that machinery is required in order to make it. So they do these studies where they say, oh, if we just provide one amino acid or two amino acids or five, you actually don't see an end protein being synthesized. Does that make sense? So, so even if you had all eight, you wouldn't- could you wouldn't be able to create collagen out of that eight. Right, it's just, it's part of the biochemical machinery that your body needs in order to make proteins. Okay, thank you. Good, um, somebody asked, are there any possible side effects? Um, no safety concerns from, from my perspective. You know, of course, we've gotten some questions on, oh, can I do three scoops or four scoops instead of two scoops? Uh, of course, we recommend two scoops for a reason. <laughs> um, and we recommend using two scoops. There, from my understanding is there, there isn't a safety concern, but I, I would stick with the, the recommended serving. I got a question. Mm -hmm. um, if there's, there's nine amino acids in the collagen, and there's also nine amino acids in the, the protein. Will that make the collagen work that much more efficiently within the body? Yeah, it's a really good question too. Um, so 
the, and this kind of goes back to Alan's question of we're trying to provide not only the building blocks, I mean, I guess leaning into the building blocks. So every protein is made up of different amino acids. So the specific amino acids in the protein are going to vary from protein to protein. And then the relative ratio of those amino acids are going to vary from protein to protein. So collagen is really abundant in, you're testing my knowledge right now, hydroxyproline, proline, there's one more, it's on the tip of my tongue. So it's particularly abundant in those specific amino acids. So collagen nine is enriched in those amino acids, right? Where Life Shake, it has those amino acids, but it's not necessarily enriched in those amino acids. So by providing you collagen, which is going to contain you know, all the amino acids that are needed to synthesize collagen in the relative ratios that those amino acids appear in the finished product, but then we're pairing it with the pea protein that comes actually from Life Shake um, to give you that ninth one. So again, we're giving you all of those building blocks. So we're giving you all of the amino acids, we're giving you the vitamin C, but then we're giving you amino acids in the relative ratios and amounts that you need so that you have all of those building blocks to support the synthesis of collagen, which is ultimately why you're taking collagen. So it's not as simple as like, oh, I'm going to drink collagen. I'm going to synthesize collagen. I mean, I think everyone wishes it was that simple, but you know, it's like what you eat goes into a pool and then that pool is pulled from to make things. So we just want to give you everything that you need in order to make collagen. So that's the intention of collagen nine is is to provide those building blocks. And that's that's unique. That's a Shackley difference that those other, other collagen products don't do that. So you say that collagen nine is enriched in those amino acids. And we, at least my 34 years in Shackley, we were always taught that, you know, the word enriched when it came to nutrients is not a good word because it means things have been processed out, et cetera, oh. and then others have been added. So how would we explain this to our customers who are pretty savvy, at least the ones that have been around in my group for 34 years, when they hear oh, the word right. rich? Can we, so, can we explain that to them? And can you help me explain? Okay, let me think of a better way to say it. Um, so we didn't, we didn't modify the collagen in any way. You know, we, we didn't, <laughs> the, you know, the company that sourced the collagen for us, but they got the collagen from the bovine and it's just naturally how collagen appears. So it's basically collagen protein, right? So what that means is it's just, it's natural collagen. So that means that it's going to contain, I don't know how else to say it. It's going to, um, it has, it is collagen, right? So it, it has all those amino acids that are needed to make collagen. So it's um, naturally enriched in and of itself. Yeah, it's say. just, it is, that, it, okay? it, it is collagen. Yeah, enriched, you're right. Collagen enriched makes it sound like we're modifying it or right. doing something to it so that it's better. No, we, we, didn't, we didn't modify the collagen in any way. It just, it is what it is. It is, it is collagen. <laughs> so it has all of the amino acids and all the relative ratios that make up collagen. But what's missing is it doesn't have that ninth essential amino acids that our body needs in order to make collagen. So it's like we're taking collagen, which is collagen, and then we're pairing it with the pea protein that has that other amino acid that our body needs to take all of those parts and pieces of collagen to ultimately use that for the body to make collagen. Because like I said, it's not as simple as, oh, we're gonna eat something and then our body just breaks it down and then uses everything there to, to synthesize it again. So that's why we're giving you that plus everything else your body needs in order to make collagen. I like how you just said now it's been paired with, maybe paired with is how I can better explain it when instead of using that word, which like yes, I said, has just been a negative in the past, because we don't in Shackley enrich things, right. but enrich means a lot of different things. To enrich can Not be true. good. It can Not be true. a good thing. So thank Not you. Absolutely enriched. So yeah, it's 10 grams of collagen and one gram of pea protein. Right. Okay, we do have another question. Uh, <laughs> And I know that because of legal, I don't know if you'll be able to answer this or not, but we can give a few testimonies. Okay. Uh, 
is collagen helpful in people with arthritis related to their pain management? <laughs> um, yeah, of course, we, we're not preventing, treating, curing anything here, here at Shackley, but um, I feel like a little bit of a broken record. But again, you know, with collagen, we're providing those building blocks to support the synthesis of collagen. And with joint health issues, it's oftentimes a consequence of, you know, um, an impaired rate of collagen synthesis relative to the rate of breakdown. So ultimately we wanna be able to support the synthesis of collagen and that's what we're doing with this product. And from the field, maybe we are allowed to say that a lot of people are claiming lots of great results with joint discomfort. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, one other person said something about that they know somebody who has trouble digesting pea protein. So they're wondering whether that one gram would really affect somebody. Hmm. I guess they get diarrhea from pea protein or something. Hmm. I, I, one gram is a pretty small amount. Yeah. Um, you know, maybe I would recommend doing half a serving, so just one scoop, see how that goes. And if they don't have any issues, try try the two scoops. But I can't imagine that, you know, a single gram would have. And also I would wonder what product it is in the pea protein because having had Crohn's disease and I have no trouble with pea protein. So yeah, it what, might, what be, might be the have. product, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. Okay, anybody else? These are such great questions and such great, great answers. That's helping us all so we can go out there and really help a lot of people. Let me see. Is, um, is, you keep on talking about connective tissue. So is cartilage a connective tissue? Yep. The people that are trying to increase the amount of cartilage they have left in their joints could, well, this might be a strategy for them to try. Yep. I think, you know, the, the collagen is going to, again, going to hold those cells together in the connective tissue, but yeah, anybody who is having any type of connective tissue issues, um, cartilage, joint, I, I think it's, it's worth trying. Right. So actually taking it with your life shake, and it sounds like giving your body that much protein all at one time could be a benefit to do the collagen with the yeah, I, I think I think that's a great option. You know, the 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 life shakes intended to be the meal in the glass, right? You have your 20 grams of protein and all your vitamins and minerals and the fiber, and then the collagen's intended to be a booster. So you, you have the meal in the glass plus the booster. I think it's it's simple, it's easy, and yeah, they mix together really well. So it's yeah, just and I it, and <clears throat> I haven't had any you know, issues with taste, but uh, I can say for sure that in the life shake, it, you, you don't notice it at all. <laughs> right. Well, you know, I just looked at the clock and realized we went way over the time I bargained for with you. <laughs> I, have my I think that the questions were it. important and I think that yeah. you answered so beautifully. And I think that what I'd like to do is open up the lines so everybody can give you a great thank you that really from the bottom of our hearts, we just so appreciate your willingness to take your time away from your family after you've worked hard all day and to be able to share such important information with us. And we're so thrilled that you are part of the company now and hope you stay with us for a very long time. <laughs> so everybody want to, anybody want to unmute so we can all give a great thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Thank you, Dr. Thank you for being there. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for the great questions. I appreciate it. Thanks so much. Okay. Have a good night. Great. Good night, everybody. Bye. Enjoy Have family. a great Thank week. Thank you all for being with Ooh. us tonight. Bye, everybody. Tell lots of people <laughs> about <laughs> College of Nine. Thank you. Thank good you, night, everybody. Mm -hmm. Sending love.